Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Wrong World, as you can see on the title screen here. So I'm um, just jumping back in. I would have jumped straight back into the game and started there, but I uh, thought I would test out the uh, eye popping again, and it turns out you can take both eyes off our little hairy friend here, which is disturbing, but it is what it is, and it's pretty cool. So, jumping back in. Alrighty, so we're back here. It's the beginning of day 17. It's about 4am. I haven't done anything since. Unfortunately, I've been very busy, but I'm sort of checking around for any enemies, but we look pretty safe. Okay, so this time we are going to be getting a, where is it, uh, alchemy table, because apparently you can make health potions, and judging by how low our health is, we desperately need that. So we need 20 wood, 2 glass, and 10 leather. So we've got a portion of wood, and we've got a portion of that leather, and we have enough sand to make that glass, so really we just need to find 8 more leather which seems kind of difficult at this point in time because leather is quite difficult to get being that as far as I know the only creature you get it from is that uh, armadillo like creature the one that's just over there if you can see him so um, I'm just gonna try and get some food because we should have some food okay we've only got one fla two flapples I think we only need two for the flapple pie. Um, if we had the hunger, then we could do the mysterious goop to get some health back. But it doesn't look like we do. Okay, food. You need four flapples for a flapple pie. Huh. Could have sworn that was less last time, but not to worry. Two meat, two ice. Um, yeah, not too good for food at the moment. Okay, let's, let's put some of our stuff away. Alright, yep, yeah, so you can just right click and that will transfer stuff back into the chest. I uh, didn't realise that before. Okay, let's switch to our claws in case we need to kill anything. And we're going to do a quick run around looking for mushrooms. Because they're the best food I can think of that don't require killing anything to get. I uh, kind of wish there was a way to keep the enemy at bay at night time. Just like a really bright light. Maybe like having a really big bonfire that you could just have burning. And then it would prevent creatures from coming near like they would hate the light or something. If there is already something like that then... You know, please let me know. That would be great to know. 11 health. Jeez. We have been in a best position before. And, uh... Hopefully we can get out of this bad position soon. We have four leather. We have three flapples, which we are going to keep on us in case of emergency. Not that they heal any health. Okay, um, let's take a mysterious goop, I think. It's risque, but we kind of need the health. We'll keep the other one on us as well, just in case. Okay, so we have only seven wood. We need more wood. Ugh. Oh, no, 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 we are going back to base whilst it is night time. <laughs> Hopefully stay protected of this guy. Okay, back to 11% health. Awesome. Just awesome. Okay, I'm just going to see what we can actually do.
with stuff in the greenhouse. So if I were to bury something, like a seed, I guess. I'm not sure what you get out of seeds, but I hope it is actual food. Because I haven't actually done any greenhouse or growing outside of just those trees before, but hopefully we can get something out of it. Okay, we'll go over this way when it is daytime. Come on, nearly 6am. It comes daytime at 6am, right? Awesome, here we are. Let's go. Let's not waste a moment of daytime. Axe at the ready. Okay, we've got a flapple, so we can make a flapple pie now. But we are in need of wood, so let us just get some more. And then we need to find armadillos. I would try and take on a yeti because I imagine they would drop leather. But, you know, just in our current state of health, I don't think it's worth the risk. Having creatures that you can just chase after and kill is a lot easier than fighting things like yetis. Okay. Campfire lit, and we have a flapple pie. Eat the flapple pie. <clears throat> okay, let's go over this way. <clears throat> I'm noticing a little bit of smoke here. I don't know if you guys could see that, but it seems to be smoke on the ground. Is it because we're going into a cold area? I just don't remember noticing that before. Okay, we've got our boxing, beating glove things on. Now we just need to find creatures to kill. Barrel over here. Ooh, food. And leather. Oh, I'm very happy with that. Okay. Oh, what? Tornado. Tornado, tornado. Um, I didn't know those were a thing. Let's just uh, move away from that. And go anywhere else. Is the sky always this orange? I, I can't remember. Um, yeah. Now, I can't entirely remember where I live because I've walked somewhat distance. But we are finding new food and new things like tornadoes. I think I live somewhere over in this direction. I don't know if it's safe to go back to my house because what if the tornado follows me? Or something, who knows. But we will need to find our house either way. It does look like it's following me. Let's not go that way. 
Yeah, the tornado is definitely following us. This is not good. Hopefully we can slow its progress by making it go over a mountain. I don't know. No, it doesn't really seem to care that there's a mountain there. Okay, let's go this way. As far as I know, we are somewhere near all that green. But I don't know where. Okay, we've got six mushrooms. That is pretty good for one little trip. Okay, there's our base. We still haven't found any armadillos. We did get one leather though, so it wasn't completely a waste of a trip. Let's see if we can jump up on the ledge from here. Okay. Into here. Light the fire. And make two mushroom soup. Mushroom soup. One mysterious goop. And another mushroom soup. Okay, okay. Health is slowly getting better. Let's go this way. There appears to be a lot more green in this direction. Oh, Jesus. Why is it still following us? What can we do about this? Please don't destroy my base. Completely forgot about it for a moment there. I was happy that I wasn't dying all the time. Another mushroom, which we will collect. Oh yeah, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Okay, it's good. That's good. Let's go. Well, we can't really get up onto that green area there, can we? Well, we do have climbing gloves, so we can give it a try. Um, I don't know how these climbing gloves really work. I think the developer said you have to be crawling. Okay, so pressing control. That's how you do it. I wonder if they break depending on how much you climb. That could be bad if we're climbing pretty high up. And looky here, we have someone who we can kill. I'm sorry, but I need both your skin and your body. Skin, body, body. Got it. Okay, so what, we've got a radiation zone here? Looks like some sort of ruin just there. But with health being as low as it is, as with our health being as low as it is, I would rather not risk it. Just don't run towards the radiation zone. Okay. We have three more leather, and I think we had four at home, so that means we got seven total. There's another guy just there, but he looks like he might be just inside the area. Okay, mushrooms, karat, all sorts of goody. Okay. Doesn't change the fact that we still need three more leather. I think these guys used to drop more leather, but I, I'm not sure. Maybe it's been rebalanced. Just please come away from there. I'm not sure how it works if you, like, instantly cross the barrier and you, like, die or something. But we are not in the position to be testing that. Oh, only three meat? Really? I mean, yay, food. Woo. But leather, come on. I 
feel like we've just wiped out the population of these armadillos here. Can you drop me three leather, please? Three meat, really, again. Ah. Is that another one down there? Let's hope so. Because we're gonna kill him and steal his body and skin. Okay, come back, come back, away from the edge of the cliff. Okay, he went really far. Well, he body ghost thing did anyway but we got one leather there okay we need two more if we could find some like barrels and stuff that would be really awesome but I don't know that we can find that okay so base is that way I think I can see the wall let's go down this way into the rocky area Just, can we climb? No, we couldn't climb. Okay. Guess you can't really catch yourself on your way down. But because there's no full damage, I guess that's good. Oh, it's okay. Okay, let's search around for these armadillo. Okay, as another day goes by, we finally found our way back home. We will light our campfire. And we will create three mushroom soup. Okay, three mushroom soup. We will put away our cut ups, broccoli, and potatoes. We have eight leather. Okay, apparently we've got another one on our way. Um, put our other stuff away. We have enough wood, we have enough sand to make the glass, we just need two more leather. Let's eat some of this. And I think I want to try killing one of these yetis. Could you please come down here and like, die? Okay, let's kill this guy. So, just like the other guys, he doesn't seem to be able to attack. So long as you keep punching him first. Okay. Whew. This is all hard work. So we nearly have the alchemy table, we just need a little bit more leather. Uh, I'll probably do my best to get the leather that we need for the next episode, because this was just a very long drawn out episode of trying to get that leather. But we did find some new stuff, we found that tornado, we uh, explored a whole bunch and We've, uh, we've seen a little bit of stuff. So, I think this is a good point to call at the end of the episode. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, please like the video, and I will see you in the next episode.